I've sunk an enemy destroyer. Engine boost hey team, it's Ripper here. Hope you guys are doing fantastic. And do I have a video for you guys? It is on the map, Islands of Ice, with the fight, the mighty, wonderful Kleber, right? The French uh, Mogador style tier 10 destroyer. Before we begin, like, subscribe, button below. You see value in the channel. Let us know in the comments below. And as always, thank you for your support and making the channel great and building community. At 2,000 subs, we're doing a free premium DD giveaway. So let's get right to it. Kleber, what is this ship? Holy cow. I had hesitations about this ship and i did a review about it i placed it maybe maybe near the average to above average kind of time frame but i'm actually going to have to change my mind about this ship after the new legendary mod came out and uh actually it hasn't been, it's been out for a while i think i just recently got it and what it does if you don't know it basically brings your concealment down to very very manageable levels but without it it used to be out to in the eight to nine kilometer kind of arena but man, with this new legendary mod for concealment, it's focusing on torpedo stealth attacks. You get it down to 6.2. You can see there on the mini map right now. And man, you are literally like every other destroyer out there now. You have finally concealment. And do I love it. You can see we're rushing into the cap. The biggest thing about selling point about this thing is the speed and the guns. And that's exactly what is so cool about this thing. And I have to say, it has really changed my mind about it. So while we're capping here and flying around... Let me read to you about it. Clavier proudly serves as tier 10 representing France, just like the predecessor and half-sister Mogador is a very powerful gunboat destroyer, possessing the biggest guns to be put on a destroyer at tier 10 until Elbing came along, of course, at the time. It's ballistics comparable to most light cruiser guns. She is more than capable of punching well above her weight. However, that is not her only strength. She is one of the most, if not the most agile ships in the game. Although her turning is not great for destroyer, she has a very unique ability that other few ships possess. The ability to rapidly accelerate and decelerate with her French engine boost. On top of the unrivaled speed, captains who can use this ability properly will find that enemies have trouble hitting Kleber beyond close range, effectively allowing you to win a long-term fight if they do not disengage. Since it's foolish to follow a Kleber, due to the speed advantage and her very fast hard-hitting torpedoes with a quick re reload time of just 77 seconds without modifiers. On uh, first glance, Kleber may appear to be a good ship for rushing caps early due to her speed. However, she is very poor concealment until that legendary mo uh, mod upgrade I was telling you about. It's one of the worst, like the destroyer's Kabaroff's line. This ship is not meant to cap contest. Rather, it's best a second-line destroyer to provide gunboat support and be distraction to enemies, as well as creating ambushes behind island attacks. Not having smoke screams, you're... Uh, means you are unable to hide yourself at will, leaving you vulnerable in a cap if you are outspotted. One way to play her is to play her like a light cruiser, attacking ships and distract them. It's best to draw fire to yourself, which will usually miss due to your agility. If there is an aircraft carrying battle, pay close attention to your team so they, uh, the enemy carrier has a hard time attacking you without losing planes. So let's take a look. So what you just saw right there and what I read about it is that the Kleber is one HP pull is great, 25 900, a lot of health pull, a lot of speed. You can see 55 knots, it, it's speeding and racing all over the map. It's guns, as you can see right here, they fire, but look at the reload 9.2 or 9.4 seconds because that legendary mod makes your reload even greater. I believe it adds about 60 percent to the time, which I thought was a downside. And because before building it for a full gunboat build, this thing would shoot soup. In indecent fa uh, speed, it's bearable with the in with the um, the gun reload booster right there or the reload booster. You see it uh, slot number one, one two three. Uh, you can see that reload booster basically cuts your time down in half, fifty percent. But if you're starting at ten seconds, half is only about five. So here, I'll take a sh I'll show you right now what it looks like. So we hit the booster or a reload booster right there. The reload's still about 4.7, so not terrible, but not the greatest either. Imagine if we had it without the this legendary mod, you would get this thing down to maybe at least two second reload. So about normal, I normally what a uh, a natural destroyer would have a reload. But these guns hit hard. They're 139 millimeters. They're great, get great, great AP, great HE. But you see, we're working, doing the business here on the Shimikaze, and he is constantly spotted for some reason. Don't know why. Maybe radar or something. But I got launched a couple of torpedoes in his direction. Now these torpedoes are uh, very. I would say very fairly fast. Um, they go about 75, let me see. The range is only eight, so it's not the greatest, but look, they're actually going out pretty darn quick. And if I want to look at it, I wonder if we get this hit, actually. This might be a lucky shot. Do we get this? 75 knots kills it right there. Yeah, so they go 75 knots. So just check the stats. Pretty darn awesome. We kill our first kill splash one with the Kleber right there. We're going to use this smoke as a tactic, okay? When I like, you know, Destroyer's laying down smoke for me, I take advantage of him, and I kind of just farm damage from there. Has great HE shells, starts great fires. Now we are radar by the, I believe, the, um, what is that cruiser out there? I forgot the name. 
Yeah, right there. The Cleveland. That's right. I knew it started with a C. Cleveland's there. Now we're going to do a, the, one of the greatest tactics, the stealth torpedo attacks. Now we're not stealth because being radar. But if you nose in a Clover to a ship, it's very difficult to hit and destroy. I mean, I've been um, nose on with a Druid or Heragumo or something, and I'm trying to take on a Clover rushing me. And it, 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 tur it turns out to be very, very difficult because it's just hard to hit this thing, hard to kill it. It's going fast at you. It's scary looking. It's going 55 knots. Pretty wild as we run to a ship. Air carrier. Uh, is trying to attack us, but I'll tell you that's one of the downsides. The uh, There are no flat clouds with the Kleber, and uh, really the AA's trash. But anyway, I digress. We're going to put a couple shells in. Oh, we get another another torpedo, second torpedo attacker there, and that's Splash 2 for us. Carrier is still trying to attack us, and we are doing literally nothing to it, scratching the paint off his planes. And the Kleber has survived basically two kills right there and survived taking this cap. But again, we are using the, our friendlies as support. Now, I've tried to do this without friendly support. Clover is very, very difficult to play solo. It's really, it's tactic is hit and run. You're pretty much just running away, dodging shells, uh, drawing enemy fire, drawing them out. Uh, it's kind of hard to play to go against submarine because you're spotted so far away. And But with this new legendary mod, it's allowing us to be a little bit more stealthy. And even as, as a stealthy gunboat, although the reload of the guns is fairly long, I find that I can make it work. And now, of course, this has that French saturation uh, like mechanic that, you know, when you shoot at it with HE shells, it's already the, the side of the or that section of the ship has already been damaged so you can only get minimal damage after it's been hit that many times so it's pretty cool in that regard it can survive in the long run um Marceau's the same way mogador same way so it's that fast attack mogador style uh kind of gameplay if you like that like let terrible as uh tier eight but here's that stealth attack i was telling you about i mean we are literally going at 55 knots have that engine boost ready we're gonna rush this cleveland even though he can see us he knows it's coming um but here we go so i'm gonna take a delay right here wait till we get a better angle there's one there's two there's two salvos right there and you got him on both sides and boom splash three our third torpedo kill so man this legendary mod really does focus on the uh the sneak attack availabilities of these torpedoes the reloads on these torpedoes are awesome notice it's already on cooldown 50 seconds until we get another set and again uh, that's just on one side of the ship the other side has six more they're pretty good though, except for the downside of it's only being eight kilometers that's the only downside i see about it at least marceau has nine kilometer torpedoes and these torpedoes go 75 knots like i said it's pretty awesome pretty hard hitting damage i do like it for that regard but man when it comes to the gunboat style that i'm used to as you can see in my previous video about how do i pick rate gun uh destroyer gunboats because it takes such a hit in the the gun reload man i'm really doubting that this thing can really kind of farm damage as much and you if you want to look at the stats uh right now wow stats have uh this thing in the dpm market as a 137 he dpm so not the greatest it, out of the 26 um tier 10 destroyers it ranks number 22 out of 26 so even with the ap damage at 185 it's not really producing that heavy hard hitting damage that i'm looking for in a ship i think again it relies on just sheer speed and maneuverability of going around all the map capping points the great cap contester uh now with the legendary mod but also going around the map uh, trying to hunt down carriers or trying to hunt down other D dds that it is going solo against i think the clever excels great at uh going a uh, one-on-one -on -one versus a destroyer because uh, I have had struggles with trying to kill a Kleber. Uh, even when a Druid or maybe a Vampire or something, I'm trying to go after a, a Kleber sometimes, and it proves to be very, very difficult, especially when they're running away with those four guns. Uh, and this, I, I want to try maybe uh, unmounting the legendary mod and see if the gun reload is effective. But being spotted so early, like the Kabarov's kind of style gameplay, it also proves very, very difficult for me to try to uh, uh, engage and actually make a gun long range gunboat successful. These sh these guns do reach out to 13.6, which is cool. You can build them out to 15 if you'd like. But I think the bread and butter of this thing is that stealth torpedo attack and close gun engagements with small destroyers that are just unsuspecting of you. Again, also, I've seen people, uh, Citadel light cruisers with these AP shells, although those have been proven to be difficult because I'm not in those situations a lot. You got to really race ahead and try to beat a flank and to catch those cruisers uh, kind of uh, on their broadside. So kind of difficult to do but this new stealth uh, torpedo tactic is pretty cool um i'm now that i'm not spotted from the moon out to eight and whatever it is nowadays my torpedoes i can actually be at 6.2 and actually torp this alsace right here which uh again they're 75 knot torpedoes nothing to gawk at they're actually pretty quick and they're kind of unsuspecting they go really quick pretty fast 
and I'm I'm not detected right now. 6.2 kilometers, he's still at 7. I can get even closer and get those nice stealth torpedo. And there's, since they're closer range, they're maybe easier to aim and kind of judge where this battleship is going with no reaction time whatsoever. He's like, oh, crap, here come the torpedoes. Nothing you can do. And boom, fourth torpedo attack right there, splash four. So, again, this legendary mod seems to be proving very, very effective for this kind of style of gameplay, which, like I said, I'm all about that DPM gunboat power. However, you can do it with torpedoes as temporarily as well. As long as you can get the fast reload on these torpedoes, it's proving to be very, very effective. I mean, you're getting six on each side. Let's see, there's 12 total. Yeah. Great reload times, good speed. And really, this is another d torpedo delivery system. I'm, I'm just literally just rushing right at this uh, Lexington right here, and I don't care what's going to happen to me. I'm just going to keep the uh, AA off, not get spotted, and see how close I can get. If I'm spotted, I'm going to leave it alone. My AA is trash anyways, but um, could I shoot the guns AP? Absolutely, but the, with the reloads uh, sacrificed for this legendary mod, again, the reload adds out to maybe 9 to 10 seconds uh, without the Fearless Brawler going on right now, so... It's good. So how would I rate this thing altogether for maybe rank or competitive? I have seen people play it for ranked and competitive. It does good jobs at capping and distracting uh, a lot of the uh, cruiser players. If you're that kind of style of gameplay, I don't know in the meta today where uh, in competitive guys are very, very experienced in Typhoon and Storm that they can't anticipate a Kleber moving in that I'm sure with the radar out there and everything, they can spot this thing from a mile away and are not afraid to kill it with the uh, a cruiser since that's the meta with a lot of cruisers in the, the competitive ranked nowadays but for randoms and everything absolutely this thing's a monster uh, you can pick off on uh, unsuspecting destroyer players that are not well adverse about the capabilities of Colbert and here comes that nice torpedo this would be five torpedo runs and do we get a crack in splash five there we go that is literally all five kills with torpedoes and as you can see man this legendary mod is pretty fantastic for that kind of gameplay so if you're a torpedo boat kind of guy, sneak attack, and you want to do stuff like that, absolutely for randoms, this thing is awesome. Uh, for gunboat power, I would have to still say this is maybe average to uh, with this legendary mod, but it may be above average if I can get it to work. So I'll actually try to take uh, dismount this thing and go back to a full gunboat build and see if I can get a you know a decent gameplay or at least hunt more uh, damage output using that. But that's the my thoughts on the new Club Bear with legendary mod. Ta let me know what you think in the comments below. If you like it or you just like it, how you've been playing it, what have they been playing in uh, ranked and clan battles. But man, this thing is powerful. I really think this is a monster now with a new uh, legendary mod upgrade so anyways hope you guys are doing well i also like to point out look at the credits we did a kraken five kills for top three in the team right but look at this i lost money look at the credits coming up here soon guys i lost money if i wasn't a premium member i, I would have only made two i would have taken a hit of 230 i've lost 111 thousand credits on this and i only mounted three flags Something's wrong here, guys. <laughs> I think it's ridiculous about the credit system. You literally have to uh, rely on boosters and everything just to get the credits to make this thing work. Here's the build at the end of the screen. Tell me know what you think. It's uh, basically primarily focused on the uh, gunboat build, and I try to make it work. But as always, you guys stay safe. Say hi when you see me out there. Hope you're doing well. Stay safe. Cheers.